Welcome back to the Dice Tower's coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2015. I'm Eric Summer here with Jeff Gracia from Greenbrier Games. And you are showing off what looks to be a gorgeous game about steampunk robot combat. Ah, that is very true. This is Heavy Steam and okay. actually is coming out in April, just around the corner. It's uh, on the boat. I think it made it to New York, which is great. That's that's a good step. Um, we, we dodged the West Coast. <laughs> Excellent. So it's just got to get trained across the country. But okay. let's get right into the game here. Heavy Steam is you are a steam captain piloting a giant steam robot. Uh, what better than a Victorian era setting where you have these giant, uh, you know, four or five story tall robots that you get to control. The focus of the game is not on a tactical map that, like some other games have, but actually on controlling your Steam Titan. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of white cubes on the map here. Your job is to move those white cubes from the center boiler out to the arms or down into the legs to power up either your weapons or actually be able to move forward or backwards on the map. Now you have to plan ahead a couple turns because only each turn do you get to move from one location to the next. Um, therefore carefully planning how you want to strategically control your robot. Uh, now that's at the very simplistic nature of the game. Um, it gets even more exciting from there because uh, at the beginning of the game you can swap out your weapons, you can actually customize the loadout of your Steam Titan. Um, the miniatures, you know, articulate and Whoa. actually the weapons come off of the miniatures. So as you upgrade your weapon arms you get better weapon arms. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we have a, a mini expansion pack that comes with 20 additional uh, weapons that you can use to customize your Steam Titan. <laughs> okay. You also get to choose, you know, a custom pilot who has different special abilities, which may, you know, augment uh, your your Steam Titan. Uh, the combat system is very straightforward and simple. Uh, you determine how far you are away from a person. You get red dice. So in this case, you know, this gun over here would roll four red dice at a particular range of two to hit this other guy across the table. Mm -hmm. You'd roll the dice. Now looking across the table, you see over here this steam pressure. Every time you do anything in the game, whether it is you fire a weapon or you move, that steam goes someplace. It's a closed system. That steam actually has to go up into your boiler pressure. Okay. Okay. Um, and you notice there's blue dice on your boiler pressure. That means you know you're getting a little bit hotter. You're easier to see, but you're moving a little bit slower. Hmm. Uh, therefore. That's how many defense dice you roll. In this case, over here, this guy has three defense dice. So he'd get to roll his three defense dice. And the combat system, as again, very simple and straightforward. You count the number of symbols versus the number of symbols as a defender. Mm -hmm. Tie goes to the defender. Okay. With one catch is there's also critical symbols where second check would be you count how many critical symbols versus how many critical defense. Gotcha. Versus normal and critical. Damage is really cool in this game. Now you notice, you know, you've got um, in your shoulder, you've only got like four slots you can move energy into. One of them's red, meaning you're trying to force energy into it. Okay. So you'd actually get to put down the cubes um, in your boiler pressure. When you take damage, like say I do a couple damage, it first of all, you know, it would hit your shields and then you place cubes in locations. You now no longer can put energy there. Right. So it's restricting the flow. So as you take more and more damage, systems you know, may shut down. Right. Or your whole entire arm may get blown off and... Then you just take it off. Then you just take the arm off and leave it on the ground. Yeah, that's where I lost my arm. Awesome. <laughs> so... Very cool. So we should be seeing this very soon? Very soon. It's uh, available for pre-order now. Um, it will be out next month in April. Uh, so I'm really excited about this game, so you guys will be able to see it soon. Thank you very much. We're looking at Yashima. Tell us about it. So Yashima is a fast-paced, uh, tactical card, miniature-driven game. So, okay. Uh, in the ga base game of Yashima, there are four main characters. You are a Kame master who has the ability to channel the magical energies of Kamis. Um, in the base game, it comes with a tiger, a tortoise, a phoenix, um, and a dragon. So you would get to choose your Kame master. For example, you could be a Kiku who is all about controlling fire. She'll actually place down burn tokens that she can explode, set people on fire, etc. You would take her whole entire combat deck and then combine it with one of your choice commies and you would shuffle them together and this would become your life force, your battle deck. Hmm. Throughout the game, um, actions are seeded such that, you know, there's a, uh, in the beginning you choose whether you're gonna be putting down a fight or a move action. Um, it would play, uh, you know, clockwise around the table as standard most games go. 
The cool things about Yashima is, in addition to having your battle deck where you just be playing straight up combat attacks that could hit multiple people on the, the board, you have your own special tome book that's been handed down generation to generation. These are your special abilities that you get to activate. And you will literally turn it like a book, turning hmm. the pages. And uh, you can activate these special abilities to perform different actions on the board, such as, you know, with this particular character, placing down a bunch of burn tokens around a person and then exploding them and setting them on fire. Okay. Yep. Very cool. How far out are we on this, uh, this game? So uh, Yashima has been in production for over a year now. Uh, we went to Kickstarter and uh, we're hoping to have it out into the market by late summer. Very, very nice. Yashima, thank you very much. So first of all, uh, Ninja Dice is already on the market. Uh, we are running another Kickstarter for a great expansion for Ninja Dice where um, in Ninja Dice you get to play as a ninja trying to break into a giant palace and steal treasure. Uh, we have a location pack where it you know, gives you that location flair to where you're trying to break into, but we decided to take it one step further and actually define different masters that you can be, Kage masters to be specific, such as the mystic, the spy, the arsonist. Instead of normally in the base game you would just roll a generic threat die, in the expansion you actually get to pick up uh, a specific die, look which represents your um, special Kage Master. In the case of the Arsonist, every time you roll, whether you're the active ninja or the inactive ninja trying to steal coins from someone else, you get to roll your die. In this example, uh, he's got a special flame icon um, that if it comes up, he can actually burn down someone else's house. So okay. There's also the, uh, the Gunslinger, who literally has a gun, and that's... You know, in the base game of Ninja Dice, if you shoot an arrow at someone else, as in your die is pointing at someone else's die, you get to steal a coin. Well, normally you'd be able to catch that arrow to deflect it, but, well, you can't catch bullets. No. <laughs> so that's a little quick expansion uh, for Ninja Dice that's in the works right now on Kickstarter, already successfully funded. That will be coming out later this year. Excellent. I and also, uh, also, you got big boxes of minis. Yes. Uh, one of the other projects we uh, co-collaborated on with uh, Fairy Tale Games from Artistic Justice is the... Uh, Sacred 40 miniatures. Uh, there's uh, over 40 miniatures that we've de uh, developed here, um, and these will be coming out uh, early this year, so to stay tuned for these. Very, very cool. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.